Death Row here doing a uh, video on simple steps to power distribution. So you've seen the videos and you went ahead and ordered this cool frame, the MXP230 by X Hover. And this thing rocks. I am telling you, I haven't broke anything on this frame. Only thing I've broken was propellers. This is the frame with the Sunny Sky motors. These Sunny Sky motors are the 2204, 2300 kV. Very, very popular motor, very powerful motor for this frame. We are also using the Fire Red 12 amp ESCs. You could buy these at um, Y Spy Quads. And let's go ahead and go through the build log, what we're going to be using. Okay, so in the frame, we're actually going to put the 2204 2300 kV Sunny Sky motors. The 12 amp ESCs, CC3D uh, Open Pilot Flight Controller, 250 milliwatt 5.8 Fat Shark Transmitter, CCTV Camera by Lumineer, and an 8 channel Futaba Receiver. You're also going to need some 3M double sided sticky tape. Okay, next step is you're going to remove the bottom plate of the frame. And then you're going to actually attach the ESCs to that middle plate with the double sided sticky tape. You're going to put two on the front and then two on the back and basically get it all lined up where all the three wires are going to each arm right there. And you're going to pair up all the red wires and the black wires together. Because those are going to be the pieces that you want connected to your battery. Okay, so now I'm going to collect all the black wires of the ESCs. And then collect all the red wires of the ESCs. And I zip tie them and twisted them just so I could keep them all in one spot. And then I'm going to go ahead and um, you know cut them short. Because those are where the main battery wires are going to be ran to. I'm using this servo wire as a means of delivering power to my video system. Um, a lot of people could use JST connectors. I have these ones laying around, plenty of these ones, and I have no JST, so I'm using the servo connector to supply power to my video system. Here are the wires I'm going to be using to connect to the battery, and also that and other end is going to go to the ESCs. Um, type of connector I'm going to be using today is the Dean's connector. I really like these ones compared to the TH60s, which I think are a little bit hard to connect and disconnect. Okay, so we tinted the wires on both ends, and this side is actually going to go to the ESCs and the servo wires supplying power to both of them. Okay, now I shortened the ends here and I'm going to go ahead and strip and tint these, uh, these ends of the wires and get those ready to solder. Okay, I stripped and uh, tinned all the wires over there. And I also added the uh, servo lead to one of the red wires and that's all going to be connected to the main red wire that's going to the battery. So now I gathered all the red wires together and my 12 gauge wire together and I got a piece of like rigid wire just so I could secure it mechanically together so it'll all hold while I solder. So if you look real closely there is actually another wire there that's twisted just to keep that mechanical connection and then I'll be soldering it all together with my soldering iron. Okay, so after I soldered that all together, I went ahead and put some uh, shrink tubing on there so I could protect it. And I'm going to go ahead and move to the negative side, strip all the sides, strip all the wires on that side, and tin them as well. Okay, I went ahead and um, did the same steps to the side, the black side or the negative side, and also put some heat shrink tubing on that. So uh, now the power is going to the ESCs and the extra servo plug that I connected to that. Mm -hmm. 
Next, we moved on to connecting the, mo the motors. Um, I went ahead and used two uh, millimeter bullet connectors and two millimeter heat shrink tubing and connected all the motors to the ESCs and that's what it looks like when you have those connections made. Okay, at this point I went ahead and labeled the ESCs and um, I also put dots on the connector points so I know which ESC went to which dot. When I connect my CC3D, I don't have to do any more guessing. It just basically tells me what I need to be doing. So I routed all the wires just to be free and clear. And now it's time to go ahead and put the bottom plate back on. Okay, I went ahead and put the bottom plate on, the screws and the landing gear. Let's go ahead and turn it around and um, connect the ESCs to the CC3D board. The flight controller board will be powered up by ESC number one. So ESC number two, ESC number three, and ESC number four, you need to disconnect the five volts going to the flight controller board. Only ESC one. If you do that, if you have all the other ones connected to it, that's like five different five volts going into one board and that could create a disaster. You could blow your board up that way as well. Okay, now we have all the ESCs connected, one through four, and it's time to go ahead and start connecting our A-channel receiver. All right, here's the wires connected to the Futapa receiver, um, channels one through six. Okay, so now we're ready to make the power connections to the Fat Shark transmitter and your camera. You go ahead and look at the uh, red wires are all connected together. The black wires are connected together. The yellow wire is your video wire and that's going directly from the camera to the transmitter. And if you look that I'm also going to be soldering that to the servo connector and that's where it's all going to be supplied by power. Okay, so this is what it looks like when you go ahead and put some solder on there and some heat shrink and looks like a complete harness. Let's go ahead and put it in the quad and see what it all looks like together. Okay guys, this is what it looks like with the video transmitter connected and powered up with your servo uh, plug over there. Um, your radio is also connected to your CC3D. Um, your ESCs are connected also through the CC3D and basically you're done. All you have to do now is just do a little bit of tuning and you're ready to go. I hope this video has been useful for you guys and uh, makes it easier to uh, do this project yourself. <laughs>